let's continue Animal Crossing. If you're watching us later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying so far. All right, before I start, um, so on YouTube, there's been some issues with VODs the past few days. Just uh, the uploads, they don't get processed by YouTube correctly. It's something wrong with the encoding of the video since I swapped to the 4K format. So I've changed some settings today. Hopefully this VOD will end up in 4K. If it does, it means, well, the settings I put through work. And if it didn't, it'll just be the Twitch replay, which is 1440p. So I'll do a couple of streams with these settings and see if they all upload correctly. And if they do, we'll stick to that format. Otherwise, I'll try and figure it out. But uh, sorry if there was any confusion if you were over there. Particularly because Animal Crossing got affected, so that's the only reason I mention it. Um, the videos may not have played to full duration, like they might have cut off abruptly. So that's that was that. Um, working to put the Twitch uploads up, and those VODs should be up shortly, hopefully. I'm actually downloading them now. I realized this overnight, so yeah. Anyway, Merry Christmas! What a start, huh? Yeah. Uh, was not happy about it, but, you know, it is what it is. Thankfully, the Twitch streams, you know, they're fine. They're just not at the full quality. So. Hopefully. Hopefully. What I did works. Alright, well, it's Christmas Day here, and on the 25th, I don't really do a whole lot, um, because everything for me is on the 24th, so. Right, I'm just gonna hang out and chill. But I, if it's quiet, it's like, well, I'm not surprised. But I wanted to play some games. I'll do it. It's like a water cooler. I'm gonna test with a bunch of different things because it was weird. Some VODs were perfectly fine. They had no issues and then others did. And it's not related to like, um, some of them being because I was running a PC game at the same time. It just, it's just random as random. So what I did, I just lowered some settings and maybe it's just a case of, Im <sighs> maybe it dropped a frame or something and it just caused it to come up with a corrupted VOD. I don't know. I'm gonna test, otherwise I'm just gonna have to go to um, the other codec, which it should be fine, but I'm just gonna end up with bigger file sizes, so nah. I guess I'll have to deal with that. This is why we can't have new things. <laughs> new nice things. I was so happy about the 4K thing as well. <laughs> one of the videos... Basically, the entire Yoshi's Island playthrough was affected, but, like, one of the Yoshi's Island videos... It plays the first 10 seconds and then it cuts off. It's like, okay. But then, when you look at the upload on YouTube, it's, it says it's the full length, so... I don't know, I'm stumped.
so yeah, downloading all, all the Twitch replays and then they're going up. And I gotta just reorganize stuff. Could have been worse, like I could have realized this a month later when all the Twitch VODs are gone, but thankfully it was it was immediate, so I really would not have been happy. <laughs> believe today's just gonna be like a day of testing <laughs> not what i wanted to do but if i can go i don't know like the next few vods without it being a problem then hey it's fine oh nice that's another one yeah First world problems, first world problems. I might even leave it that way, just have all the black roses up decorating the island, just those crevices. I mean, it's, in, it's near Audie's house and she has a bunch of black flowers there, so it might even suit it. How does this work? Do I, I think I need this red. I think this red is absolutely necessary, right? It's like, this is a key component. Yep, so hybrid red. Okay, so this is hybrid red, confirmed. probably isolate these away from the others so then it's kind of well I know the result is going to be controlled I'm going to do that bring them in a controlled environment I know two of these are definitely control um, hybrid red. A third one might not be. But I have no way of knowing. It's alright. The others I'll ensure that they are. I 
pass another hybrid yellow. Those are isolated enough. And then hopefully it gives me <laughs> color finally. I don't know. These are just spares. At some point I'll distribute them. was spare so there's no hybrid red okay uh still no luck with these i think yeah Notice that. <laughs> Sleeping. Oh yeah, the work of art from over the night. Hang on. Yeah, just a sec. Downloading my old VODs in the background, so I'm, like, just setting up the next ones. Okay. It's so annoying that I've had to do this, but it is what it is. Do I need to get coffee? No.
I wish you could get like fertilizer or something to make it more likely that um maybe not necessarily get hybrids but something happens overnight. That'd be nice. I'm probably not going to use that, to be honest. Christmas sweater again. Or maybe I should just do like a summer get up. Australian Christmas style. <laughs> that wouldn't be long sleeve. I even ordered overnight. Whoops. Oh yeah, pinball machine, nice. The painting set. Life ring, use ball table, climbing wall. Okay, that's some stuff for uh, for the arcade that I'm gonna make eventually. Upstairs first. Wait, what 
what's that? Oh, the detail painting. Nah. Yeah, that's looking better. I think the lighting is definitely helping. The stuff that I can place outside already. I'm gonna go drop off these roses somewhere out of sight. I'll figure out what to do with them later. Just, I don't want to get rid of them. This room, come on. Not that. Sure. Oh. Uh, in a minute. <laughs> I don't feel like talking to Sahara right now. Uh, yeah, I gotta go donate that. I need something to place the painting set on. What have I got? That might not be too bad. That might not be a bad idea. Can I change it to something? Oh, but just like... No, keep it blank. I'm talking about this. Yeah, that, that'll probably match. So it looks like I already had this work of art. It is authentic, though. Uh, 
No, this room. <laughs> Hang on. I need to do this the other way around. Okay, um... Yep. I don't know if there's an easel, but... Let's just do that for now. I might put like a light or something here. I'll figure it out. For now, that that'll that'll be that. All right, I guess I talk to Sahara now. You go. What they here a minute ago? Oh, that I'm blind. All right. This is going to take a few minutes. We should probably check out the medium sized ones because I do want to replace the one I have in the bedroom, but we'll see. life for the next few minutes. They might have some tickets in storage. I mean, you talk to the villagers like this, but for some reason Sahara's dialogue is just extra long. Okay, I'm just gonna go check if I have any other tickets, otherwise I'll, I'll buy a couple more rugs. Um, green stripes rug, tiny mat, dimple green. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's one that I might use to replace what I have. have to. Okay. <laughs> Five tailor tickets. Okay. So that means I just need to buy medium rug. Rug, please.
What I even got? Heavy curtain wall. That one might not be bad. I Ooh. Stormy night wall. The heavy curtain, I guess it depends how it looks like, but I could put it upstairs. And do a feature wall, so then behind the stage is like a curtain for backstage. That might not be too bad of an idea. Alright, let's just put these away. I might actually put the gold watering can away, because now that I'm not doing gold roses, it's like, well... It's unnecessary. Let me have a look. Oh no, but I already had like a city view. What do I want more? Por que no los dos? I don't mind that. Then the neon lamps along the ground actually makes sense. Have flamenco? I don't think I have flamenco. Flamenco. Okay. 
that's that. Spaghetti marinara, yeah, this is new. Cool. <laughs> I only have two Christmas decorations, so it's pretty easy to clean up. It's this, it's this again. I have it. It's... Wait, no, hello. Hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Now the, or now the actual authentic version of the statue is here. They're both authentic. Um, but this one I don't have. Yeah. Okay. It's another authentic one. Oh, that's bad fortune. I should probably do the friendship one as well, just... Oh, so you can do this, um... Daisy felt, like, a little bit neglected. It may have been a good fortune, actually. I didn't pay attention. Because otherwise it would have asked me to pay, so it didn't. Okay. Maybe it's just checking the status. Oh, the blushing. Yeah, yeah. Do it. 
I don't think I've done the friendship blessing, so maybe there's like a Nookmile thing behind it. Alright, now I can do the rest of the stuff. I haven't checked on the tulips. Okay. Hey, another black one, nice. Then I would say this is done. Well, okay, I guess I still want more purple ones. Christmas. It was good, confirming. Just chilled with my cousins, pretty much, as most of the old people are way overseas, so it's up to us to do Christmas this year. The only thing that sucked. I got home last night, I streamed for a little bit, and I went to bed. I was, I was pretty happy. Good day. And then I turned on my TV going to bed. I'm like, oh, you know, I haven't checked the quality of my VODs yet. The 4K stuff. I want to, let's see how it looks like on the TV. So I go to play one of my VODs. And it only plays the first, like, 17 seconds of it. I'm like, what? I pick another one. It plays, like, maybe seven minutes of it. I get out of bed. I go to the computer. Same thing. I got someone to double check. So the... In Coding is doing something weird, and I'm not sure what. Um, but I'd say like half of them 
they don't upload to YouTube correctly. Like, YouTube just abruptly cuts them off. So I've had to... Ugh. Download the Twitch backups. And now I'm gonna have to, like, re-upload them. It could have been worse. I thankfully realized... Sooner rather than later, but, like... Now I'm testing. So... I put some new settings in. Kind of lowered stuff a little. Maybe it's, like, overloading it. I don't know. Because I did put it at, like, a really good quality. So I'm hoping... It just behaves. Like, I don't know. But locally, it does the same thing. I thought it was YouTube originally, but, like, VLC... If it just plays normally... Um, it'll cut off at a certain point. But you can skip through the whole thing. Like, it's seekable... It picks up that the VOD is as long as it should be. It just doesn't play the whole thing. So... I'll hopefully figure out. I think it's just the AV1 video codec, like... I don't know if OBS is doing it correctly, or... Maybe I've done something that it, it's overloading it, so... I'm gonna test with the next few ones, but like... If it happens again, I'll just go back to the old video codec, and I'm, I'll just deal with the massive file sizes. Is it the USB hub? Maybe. Beyond, beyond point for those things, just somehow messing with my video encodes. And I tried to find, like, if there was a pattern to it, like, maybe if the VODs were long, it would be more likely to happen, but it happened to a really short one, like, one that was only an hour long. And then one that was four hours long was perfectly fine. It happened regardless of what I was doing, like, it happened to a PC game, it happened to capture card stuff. It happened to a long VOD, it happened to a short VOD. So, I can't see a pattern. It's just like, random is random. I don't know. I went to bed really late because of that. <laughs> that was, it bothered me so much that I went on Twitch. So I found out which ones were faulty. And then I went on Twitch and started creating highlights of each of those ones. And then I'm just downloading it today. So it's just like, ugh. It's so frustrating. Oh yeah, and I think I slept funny as well, as... So like, my right leg hurts. <laughs> Cause I slept on it funny. I was just so tired after that ordeal at the end of yesterday. Old man problems now, so it's just great, yep. Hey Star, thanks for the sub, how's it going? Yes, Merry Christmas. It's intermittent. I don't know what's causing it, but I get the I get the feeling that it's just... I may have put the settings up too high. Because I'm recording the Twitch stream and also just a 4K output. So I think doing both at the same time may be doing some problems. I'll see if I can figure it out. How am I? up? Uh, Doing okay, Christmas was good, just... When I finished streaming yesterday, I discovered a technical issue that I'm not happy about, so I'm, like, trying to remedy it. Long story short, my 4K recordings... Half of them work, half of them don't. Like, YouTube... Well, I guess it's not YouTube, it's just the way they recorded. But the playback gets cut off abruptly sometimes. I got the Twitch back up, so I've like, uh... I've been downloading the Twitch backups today. And I'll just re-upload the Twitch backups, so it's fine. They just won't be at full 4K quality. So I've just lowered... the encoder settings and hopefully... I'll, I'll test with a few. And if I can get through, like, the next few days with no problems, I'll stick to those settings. But otherwise, I may have to, like, just go to the older video codec, which, it's fine. It'll 
do the job, it just won't look as clean, and the file sizes will be bigger, which... But the alternative is like, well, I don't get watchable VODs, so... Uh, I don't know. This is why we can't have nice things. It's just... new stuff. You do a corner, it works 100% of the time. Oh, you mean like one top and one to the left or right? Yeah, that's smart. So yeah, today I'm, I'm testing. I'm just gonna record some Animal Crossing, I'll do some Vampire Survivors, and then later... Yoshi's Island and Yakuza, so it's like everything, it's like... If all four of these that I'm gonna record today upload, process, and work with no issues, and I think I'm good. But I have to upload, uh, like, I don't know, how many? It's quite a few. It's like, easily 15. I'm just lucky I realized this whilst the Twitch back- the, the Twitch streams were still up. If I would have realized this next month, oh man, I would have been heartbroken. Is it because I'm doing one long stream now? Nah. I thought it might have been because maybe the VODs were too long, but it happened to a VOD that was only an hour and 20 minutes long. It happened to one that was like three hours long. But then there was another one that was four and a half hours long and it was perfectly fine. So it's just... I get the feeling it, it's just maybe I'm overloading it. That's the only thing that might account for something being so random is like maybe my system is just under heavy load at a certain point and just messes up the encoding somehow to the point where, like, a video player thinks that the video is ending. That's the only explanation I have for it, so... I've dropped down the settings a bit. I was trying to find, like, some semblance of logic to it, but I, I couldn't. It just, it's erratic. What's interesting is, like, all of the Yoshi's Island VODs were screwed over. Every single one. But then, Yakuza had, like, a couple that were fine, and then the latest ones were just messed up. Animal Crossing was, like, one worked, one didn't, one worked, one didn't, one worked, one didn't. Like, regardless of duration. So, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just... finished streaming, I got into bed, I was curious about my own footage, seeing how it would look on a TV, and then I stumbled upon that. Got out of bed, spent the next, like, two, three hours recovering videos on Twitch. Or, yeah, and then conked out. <laughs> Slept funny, so then, like, my leg hurts now. But Christmas was good. The actual Christmas event stuff was fine. Just what happened afterwards. Um, alright. I'm gonna do some work out here. Wait, I got a safe? Eh, anyway. I won't dwell on it, but... I figured it was worth talking about here because... Just the Animal Crossing VODs were affected and... People do watch them, so... If you're wondering why, like, some of them may have gotten cut off abruptly, it's not your internet connection. <laughs> like, I bet people thought it was their internet connection. Or, like, YouTube was being buggy. It's... I thought it was YouTube being buggy, but it's the recording itself, so... 
Yeah. It's okay, I fix. I'm gonna start cleaning up here, because I want to start planning out the arcade. So I'm gonna get rid of a bunch of ro- uh, not that. A bunch of roses that I know well, it's overkill to have this many of this color. And same with the pansies, I got like too many white ones, so. But enough about me and my problems, how is everyone else doing with their Christmas Eve, or yeah, it's still Christmas Eve, right? Yeah. It's the middle of the day for me. <laughs> oh. Here's a question. Microwave with dials. Have you ever seen one? Last night, the question was asked, like, what does my microwave look like? Because someone was under the impression that only Australians have, like, microwaves that have dials with them. Because they're old and weird. But we've established that they exist in Europe, so... Yeah, microwave with dials. So instead of a, a you know, keypad, you know, touch keypad, dials. Ever seen one? They exist in Australia. I didn't know they existed in Australia, but they do. I had never seen one until yesterday. But, uh, just curious. It was such a derailing conversation. <laughs> Go take a picture of your microwave. Um, where is it? It's like, apologize for the crusty quality. You know, like that. That's what we're talking about here. I, I've never seen one in my life. Your toaster oven kind of looks like that. I've seen toaster ovens that look like that. I've definitely seen that. But a microwave, like, yeah. It was like... Two Australians had shown a microwave that looked like that, and so it was like, wait, do all Australian microwaves look like that? And I was like, what? No. Yeah, every microwave I've seen is just a flat digital pad, and then it has some presets on it, typically. A button that, like, increments by a set amount, like maybe a minute or extra 30 seconds. And then the button that opens the door. Like, it's pretty typical. That's all I've ever seen. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. It was a funny conversation. Because I was like, I I, I want to make it my mission to find someone in the US that has a microwave with the dial on it. So far, no luck. <laughs> hey, Hyper Kirby. Merry Christmas and Colin. Speaking of, I, I'm trying to find some American that has like a microwave with a dial now. It ex they exist in Europe. We know they exist in Europe, so... Not you, yeah. We will find someone. This could be another one of these things that just never made it over there. Like, I- one thing that I am just completely dumbfounded by is how... Um, electric kettles have not made it to the US. Like, how is it a thing? 
That's not a European thing because they exist in Australia. I looked. You have an electric kettle, but did you buy it in America? Because I had my uh, uncle and cousins visit from LA. And they saw our electric kettle and they're like, what is that? It's like, oh, we use it to boil water. And they were so, like, mystified by it. They're like, what? That's so good. It's so easy. We usually just use the stovetop. It's so fast. You love it. First American I've met that has one. Good. You don't drink tea, but it's not just used for tea, though. Like, it... Hot chocolate? Dude, for instant ramen? Are you kidding me? You want to make some instant ramen? That thing boils water super fast. You get your ramen sooner. Come on. It's just so much easier. The dial microwave? No, no, the, the kettle. The electric kettle. The one that I was talking about. The one that boils the water that you just plug into the wall. You push a button and it boils your water. Just use the microwave for fast boiled water or the Keurig. The microwave would work, I guess. But this thing is so convenient. It has a handle. You probably won't burn your hands trying to take it out of the microwave. It's just an old lady thing. <laughs> really? An electric kettle is an old lady thing? What's the... In... I don't know, I don't want to say everywhere else, but like, Europe and Australia at the very least, it's just standard, man. That's just how everyone boils their water. No one uses a stovetop unless they're out camping or something. Or like, somewhere where one isn't accessible. Anyway, when my uncles came here, they bought, I think, three or four kettles and took them back with them. It was just that amazing. It's like, what is this? What was like some fancy technology? It was funny. What I got for Christmas? Uh, I got some clothing. I got some tea. So I got this mango mint tea. It's like a summer tea. So I'll probably make iced tea out of it. Um, and I got two art books. One on Dragon Ball and one on Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Like... Just showing the artwork of the se each series over the years. The art books are really cool. So it's all the manga stuff, so it's like... Very nicely coloured. And the paper's nice too. It's like a coffee table book. Ow. It's like my second shovel today. In terms of food, we did eat just meats, pretty much. There was some lasagna, there was some salads. <laughs> so... This is funny, um, because every year my aunt and my mom and they usually organize it, right? 
So, every year, uh, me and my brothers always ask, can we bring something? Uh, we want to bring something, because we're adults now, right? But they still see us as little kids, always. It's just always going to be a thing. So they say, no, don't bring anything. Like, we got it covered. Like, just come, come with an empty stomach. That's every year. So this year, because they're away, it's like, haha, let's try bringing stuff. So, I had a long, hard think about it. I'm like, well, everyone's probably going to cover the other stuff. So I, I made a cheese platter, because I know none of them are going to do that. Like, it's just not a thing we do in our family, right? The first time I had a cheese platter, I was in my mid-twenties. <laughs> you know? It's considered, it's considered such a fancy thing. So I was like, alright, I'll, I'll make... I'll take enough, um, I'll make a, a, like, relatively small one, just in case they're not into it, and then, you know, the leftovers I'll bring, whatever. Dude, it got fucking demolished, <laughs> like, immediately. So I had to, like, uh, replenish it, I think, twice. But it was good, it was, yeah, like, now I know what to bring next year, because I know no one's going to do that. So, yeah. I'll move these in a minute. So white, if I want more white ones, I can just plant, plant some, uh, some seeds. Yeah, I made it pretty quick, but it worked. Colorful wheel? I don't know what that is. Got pretzels with different dips. Pretzels are good. What I had? I had like... I got carrots, I got two kinds of olives, um, like marinated peppers, crackers, potato chips, um, tzatziki and French onion dip. What else did I have in that? I can't remember. Oh yeah, and then I guess the cheeses and the meat. Yeah, made it pretty quickly. I'm just gonna... Move stuff. It was alright. Like... Pretty low effort on my part. <laughs> but, it, it worked. People thought I had gone to, like, some fancy place to get the cheese. I'm like, what? Nah, man, it's just, like... So, our two supermarkets in Australia, there's two big ones. One's called Coles, and the other one's called Woolworths. You, pro you probably might have them, I don't know. But, um... Pretty much, it's just as basic as you can get. There's nothing fancy about them, it's just... Kind of like how Walmart is, right? They're, they're everywhere. So, I just went there, and people thought I'd gone out of my way to, like, go to some deli or something. I'm like, nah, man. Because <laughs> it's just that uncommon. They thought I was being extra fancy, so... Did not have many fancy cheese growing up. 
Feta is the only cheese that was fancy for us, technically, but that's on only because we used to live on the... Just, like, one street away from a factory where they made it back in the day. So it just stunk up the street. And, um... You go to the factory and buy it pretty cheap. But otherwise, I don't think I, I would have had that cheese. Growing up. I'm fancy. <laughs> In what way? Is it because of my accent? Because I don't talk like this, like a typical Aussie. Like, abrasive and uh, nasally. You need to get a chuck cuttery board. Or however it is, Bo can say it. <laughs> Ugh. That hurt a little. <laughs> I can't do the Bergen accent for too long, because I just... I can't do a middle ground, like, I always just go the extreme version of it. Do you like my accent? What, the Bogan one? I don't know, I, I don't like the extremely thick Australian accent, personally. Sometimes it just feels like nails on a chalkboard. Oh, normal accent, yeah, well. multiple shovels here. plans for New Year's. Depends on the weather. Overnight, it was just storming and miserable. Today, it's really miserable outside. Um. But yeah, my brother's gonna take my niece to, uh, go see a fireworks dis- they have, like, an early fireworks display. And then they have one at midnight, so they want to catch the early one. So if it's not raining and it's not too hot, I'll go. Let's tag along, like, we'll get dinner or something, and then I'll probably come back and just stream, to be honest. Like, just... Then I can make the joke that I make every year. I'll just tell all of you to stop living in the past, or, like, anything you tell me within that 12-hour gap will always be, like, that's so last year. Because... Yep, that's that's my sense of humor. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I guess, lazing about. <laughs> Usually just stay home too. Yeah, it's more chill. It just depends how I feel as well. It's like, you know. Though on stream, I can be sociable. Also, just... In real life, it's it just depends how I feel. It's like sometimes it's just I'm very to myself and just talk not that often. 
kind of just sit there and listen. But then there are other times where I do feel sociable and, you know, I'll talk. It just depends. Just pretty introverted overall. I don't know why I arranged this so neatly when I said I was going to move these. Um, but I'm going to use this space to make an arcade, so. I don't think I'm going to put flowers here at all. Growing up, my dad would troll me, in particular. Because I was kind of impatient with presents as a kid. Like, I, I wanted to know what they were. I'd do the whole thing where I'd, like, pick it up, feel its weight, shake it a little. I was just, you know, kid stuff, right? So, one year to combat that, he made a box, right? And he, it was a pretty big box. I don't remember the size of it, but it was big. It's bigger than anyone else's present. I'm like wondering what this thing is. I couldn't even lift it up. It was that heavy. So Christmas day comes, I open the box, well, the, the wrapping paper. And it's a box that just has bricks in it. And he kind of formed a neat grid, and in the middle there was a smaller box that had my actual present in it. And then every year, like, my present was never my present. So it would be like, it would always be wrapped in something that wasn't representative of what it was. Like, sometimes it was a cereal box, sometimes it was a shoe box. And he did it enough times where it got to the point where I was like, alright, well, there's I, I just should not care about this. It's just, well... I'm never going to guess it. Who knows what he's done to it. The effective strategy on his, his part. Anyway. The point of the story is... Um, I decided to wrap my niece's present inside a box of muesli. So she opens it. I'm like, oh yeah, I, I got you breakfast because I know how much you like breakfast. And she looked at me funny, and then she was like, very thankful. She was like, thank you. And I'm like, oh, no, wait. But she put the box aside. Like, she thought I had actually given her cereal. I'm like, no, open it. Ugh. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's not actually cereal. pretty funny but I, I got a kick out of it so I'm like okay well I can understand the kick my dad got out of it she was grateful yeah she got the present even though it was cereal <laughs> oh man she's a good kid
Oh yeah, I still have more to move. My job's not done. Um, yeah. I mean, it kind of looks nice and organized. But I'll probably get rid of a few more. Oh, over here. Hey, Hannah. Merry Christmas. How's it going? The only thing I... Giant ornament? The only thing I, I guess... I have to have leftovers today. It's just... Because nothing's open. Maybe if I can go... Because sometimes Chinese restaurants are open, so I might go for a drive and later and see if I can get something. Just drinking and playing Animal Crossing. Nice. You up to anything in particular? I'm just clearing this out at the moment, making way for an arcade. I don't think I'll start. Well, I might place the furniture outside, but I don't know if I'll start it. Your parents won you got a big box and only put a K on the box. Both your siblings have a name that start with K. But they don't know who it was for. Right, so both of them was hoping it was them. And all that was in the box was a piece of paper for driving lessons. <laughs> Pretty funny. Well, you know, I got my dad back, eventually. I can't remember what what Christmas it was, but it's once I had a job, like a, a job where I wasn't like a struggling student living on ramen and stuff. My brother helped out as well. So I did the same thing. I got a box. I I, I forgot what I put in it, but it was, I just m m weighed the box down with random stuff, unrelated stuff. And inside the box was just a receipt for a TV. And then, you know, when you open the box, then my uncles brought in the TV in a separate box afterwards. So he was pretty excited about that one. Because they just had like a small TV in their room. So, yeah. I was like, PAYBACK! Yeah, it was something me and my brothers did together. It wasn't just me, but... I was... We were able to do it because we were... Well... Two of us had... Had jobs at that point. About to work on houses and happy home. Nice. I'm not sure if I'll do happy home. I'm kind of, yeah, just testing stuff at the moment. I won't go into it again, but it's just, I've had some technical issues with my, my replays, so. Just recording a long enough session, so then it's like, okay. I'll test it and hopefully what I've changed is fine. Where am I gonna put these? There's, there's a lot of them. Oh, I guess here. There's nothing here. Alright, here. Sure. You're going to bring all the presents up? Alright. Good luck. So one thing I'm, I like is just, we don't do the, the Christmas presents in the morning thing. I think I, I would, I would have hated that as a kid. <laughs> just, I mean, my whole thing was, I just never, I have never liked getting up early. I've always been a night owl. It's just, I can stay up till whatever time. I just, if I get up too early, I'm not functional. 
And just the whole thing of kids getting up at like six or seven in the morning excited to open presents. Dude, I, I would have been just asleep. It just... Nope. <laughs> I'll wake... I'll open... If I'm not going to school or not having anything to do that day, I'll be up at like 10. I'll open my presents at 10 a.m. I'll, I'll be fine with that. What difference does it make? Like, I'll wake up at... I'll wake up and it'll still feel like the same amount of time had passed. And I'll be happy because I have, I have slept... The earliest you'll wake up for presents is like 10 or 11. <laughs> Has that always been the case? Yeah, I can't. I can't do that. It's just no, no way. Well, that again. It's not that that happens, but like, you know, we do Christmas Eve, do the dinner with family, and then at midnight, which it's technically the 25th at that point, that's when presents get opened, and I like that. That works for me. When you were a kid, you used to wake up at 5am. Oh, well then... You've done the 5am thing. 5am, man. <laughs> I can't do it. My brother used to try and wake me up at 6 to watch cartoons sometimes, and I'd be like, leave me alone. I want to go back to sleep. Your brother is older. My brother was younger, yeah. You would wake up at 6am, open gifts, play with whatever you got, then go back to sleep. That's a solid move. I still wouldn't like getting up at 6, but at least you went back to sleep. Okay. <sighs> oh, I can sleep. I can sleep whenever. I could sleep whenever. Like in my blood, the concept of a siesta. Okay, uh, let's see what we got. I have one arcade seat. Check that out and find a pattern. So I'll make like a prizes booth where, you know, you exchange tickets. Maybe that. Oh, I had a few of the- well, I got- I got one. Um... That's cool. Yeah, look at all this stuff. This is... I have quite a bit. Oh, the other idea I had, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it, but, like, put a bunch of computers and make it almost like, you know, a place where you go play games. I don't know if they still even exist. <laughs> they probably do. I'll leave it for now. We'll see how much room I have. 
could never sleep well on Christmas night. I'm okay. I guess because it's the uh, get home at like past 1 a.m. thing and you just conk out. And because there's no anticipation for the next morning, sleep like a baby. Unless, you know, you get home, you check out one of your own VODs to see how they look, and then <laughs> you stay up until 3, scrambling to download your Twitch videos as a backup. Then you don't sleep well. Um... I guess I need to think what kind of flooring I'd use here. Thinking about it. I don't know. Well, I mean, I might keep the tree there. Maybe. I'll think about it. Okay. Uh. Okay, one thing that's definitely apparent, this back wall is going. I'm not going to use fencing, I'm going to use panels, and I'm going to put some design on them. I'll just get rid of them, for now. I might use them, but let's just... So I can do this properly. Um, let's go with this. Trying to form like a mental picture of what I'm going for. I mean, if I get rid of the trees, there's just more room. Okay, you know what? I got an idea. Um, I need to eat something to do it. I'll move it over there. It should be movable. Just eat a raw potato. It's fine. Delicious. be able to plan it here. Yeah, I mean, I'm not 100% convinced these trees will remain here, but let's just do that for now. That's fine. Because now it can just go all the way to the end. Better use of the area. Oops. 
and then I can plan how I want to lay it out. Wrong one. I just noticed something about this pattern that bothers me. I don't think anyone will notice it, but does anyone see it? <laughs> I, I saw it a while ago and I can't unsee it, but I don't think anyone will notice it. Can you guess what it is? It's, it's pretty subtle, but... That was bother me a little, but I'm willing to let it slide, because no one's pointed it out yet. I've drawn attention to it, so maybe people will notice it now. I think I can understand what happened with that, but... I wish you could edit patterns you download. Then I'd, I'd fix it myself. think this is going to look nice. I need to go get a stall, but it'll work. Just do this. This should be fine. set up. Alright, so I need to think how this is gonna work. I don't- I'm kind of debating to just leave it open plan. I might do open plan. Um, but the way it would work... Okay. So, it would be C. Then... What's a colorful wheel? Oh, yeah, that thing. That's no, fine. Um, okay. 
Okay. Pinball machine. I'm not... Well... I guess that's the thing, I have to plan this correctly. We'll have a few pinball machines, so... Then on this side... Do this sort of stuff, right? Ah, you can't put them perfectly side by side to one another. Hmm. I just need to buy more stuff, but in general, this is fine. And then, look, this 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 is more important than a, a window. <laughs> this is more this is more important than your window. You don't get a view. You get a view of the back of the stack machine. I should probably customize this. Um, and this. I'll see what colors are available. Stand for prizes. So let's see, I need... Wood. Where is wood? There is wood. Still debating about the fence, but for now, let's just say I won't do it. I might move it back one. This is just in case I change my mind. Is 
because then there's like a gap here. Okay, I'll be back. I'm just going to see what I can colour it to. Sure am. Where, where am I going? Um, alright. Oh. Wow, there's different ones. I might get a second one. But now, I'll go with this one. Leave that one to last. Snack machine. Go with the black one. Okay, I need to find the pattern, so give me a sec. I'm just gonna look up a term. And hopefully it comes up with something. I don't have a plan for this, I'm just gonna browse. We'll see. I think this is the term for the art style that I'm looking for. I can't remember. One comes up. Oh, what's it called? Hang on. Figure it out. Maybe neon? Neon might work. Or is it neon? I can't- I think it might be neon wave, even. It's like that art style that- It's just very streamer. Vapor wave as well. Nope. Oh, hang on. It might be this. Let's see. Hang on. 
I'm looking in Google as well. There's a good flooring one. Okay, I am... Ooh, that one's not bad. Okay, I, I have some that I've found. There's one called... I can customize it and then I can... I know. Figure it out. This is what I was after. Something like this. I'll figure it out. Um, there's a few contenders here. Wait, what is this? Hold on. People go crazy with these cutout things as well. They do crane games and things. Let me, let me just do this, because I can go browse later. But I have a collection of ones that I could potentially use. I'll just try with this one for now. It is Vaporwave, okay, well. So we get rid of this. Go with that. I mean, I guess that's probably the best to do. This is going to be tricky to do to find something that works for both, but we'll see. I have the parameters. This is a cool tile. All right, hold up. Well, I guess I, I can do that back at the island. I'm leaning towards open plan now.
Ja. Oké, okay. goed. Okay, now I can kind of fly on stuff out a little better. I think we can do a better job with this layout here. I'll find the right one. It might take a few attempts. No running in the flowers. That's all they have. Um, that's pretty funny. Hey, hang on. So probably. Should probably leave the code up there for a minute. Then it's easier for me to find later. Essentially experiment with that. Okay, but then also I need something else, so give me a sec. As a wall. What's that other one I saw? Hold up. There was this other one that looked like it would do a better job at tiling. Oh, there's like a DDR one as well, but... Mm. Uh, one sec. I lost it. Oh, here, here they are. Okay. Let me try this one. This one is pretty simple. But it might it might work really well. Uh nine five seven eight six seven six zero four zero Three, five. Yeah, that's one. It's pretty simple. Let's see how that looks.
Mm. I know this is a pain. But I need to see the full thing. <laughs> Three other alternatives I have. And then that would leave one for Scoot's Gym, which I'm fine with. Like, even just a sign would be okay. Might actually work. You'll see. thinking of doing. Yeah, this will work. So then it's like the walkways are alternating this. It's within theme. I might, yeah. It's okay. Just debating. I'll go with what I did here. Alright, so either way... needs to happen. I guess now changes like I probably shouldn't use wood back there, I should use the tile.
this for a sec. Thinking about how this would work <laughs> from like a path point of view. this for now. Maybe I just need to go all the way with this. Oh, crap. Alright, I was worried that was going to happen. This is wrong. Wait, is it? No, it's not. False alarm. have as much room as I thought I would for this. That's kind, of, that's kind of laid out neatly. I can get on board with this. Uh, where is it? Snack. against here. Just, yeah, that's fine. Okay, uh, pinball, 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 pinball.
I don't know what else I'll put there. For now, let's just put it here. There's one in the middle that's like doable. I think this is a good start. I'll flush it out more once I have more stuff. the other patterns that I was browsing here. This one seems like it'll work fine. And I can see which one I like better. See this arcade. I mean, if I had, if I had more tiles, maybe. It's kind of neat. It's like a Game Boy one burritos. This one looks pretty neat. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, this one this one looks better. It just goes with the rest of the colors better. I guess if there was more, I could put simple panels behind these. It would work. Right, I just need to order more. I can go about this two ways I can like. Make it natural where it has hedges at the front, or 
I can do half walls. I'm leaning towards more half walls. I just wish there was a more blue one. But I guess it doesn't matter too much. I think this is a good start. I just need to get more stuff. I'll see what I can order with Pokey. I might be able to order another crane game with Pokey. Getting it here. Okay. I'll just order. That's a, is that a cave duck? No. It, look, I thought it was a cave man outfit, but it's flowers. It's fine. It's a nice looking fox. Oh, wow. Go in here and get the recipe as well. That teddy bear was an interesting one. I think the only thing I did wrong with the restaurant. It's just kind of difficult to get to the back of it, but it's fine. I think I just learned this today. Oh well. I actually don't own this one. Believe it or not. It's good to get that. Um, can I order a thing? Oh, that's the good one. Oh, that one's good too. Hold on. Yeah. I mean, for the campgrounds, it's going to be really good. Okay. 
I should still be able to afford a train game. I feel like I had a... The candy machine I feel like I had. There was one outside the store, which I guess I can get another one. But... Not in that much of a rush to get it. Uh, crane game. Well, it's 21k. What about pinball? How much is pinball? I'm just going for value here. Pinball it is. Three pinball machines. Easy. And what else we can get? Maybe, maybe they can be like the big pro. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I know what I'm going to do. At all these arcades always have like some big prize that is really unattainable. It's in the prize counter in the background, I'm gonna have like a switch in a case. So then it's like, oh you can win a you can totally win a switch. Just earn 30 million tickets and this Nintendo Switch can be yours. Potentially. I probably need one anyway. Stuff that's cheap and it'll go well for the arcade outside. The pinball machines are a good pickup. That's a lot of them done. Oh, I guess I'm out. That's fine. I'm kind of excited to put this together. all this stuff real quick. Oh, I haven't watered the plants. I need to water the plants. In my journey to, like, start the, uh, 
the arcade. I kind of forgot about that. Whoops. I guess let's start with the big cluster over there. Oh, I forgot to move one hybrid yellow over here. I need to go get it. There was one that grew overnight. I mean, should probably do this. Sahara, please get out of the way. One day I will wake up and there will be a purple one here. <laughs> ah. This is second too long. Probably customize it, it's probably on the verge of breaking. Not that. What did I just say? I was about to customize it, <laughs> and instead of going to interact with the crafting bench, it just, uh, yeah, decided to do that. It's okay. I can be a little less lazy now that I have this. Softwood and that. Alright. Nope. 
Ah! That was an accident. I was trying to water. Oh well. We have so many buttons on the controller, and it's just... Man. Most of them are just unused the majority of the time. to do that. I mean, this is just so I get more hybrid pink. Because I need more of them. I think this is... I think this patch is already done. Alright, cool. Ooh, I can't shoot it right now. Okay, while it's moving along... I think it's just the roses. Oh, and these as well, but... At a certain point, I think I'm gonna stop bothering with this tree thing, but for now.
That's all right, yeah. All right, well, I'm going to leave it here for now. Wish me luck. I'm going to upload this and see if it doesn't mess up. Um, but otherwise, there is the YouTube VOD to fall back to. So if this is on 4K later on YouTube, hey, it worked. If it didn't, well, it'll be 1440p. Uh, anyway, if you are watching this later on YouTube, by the way, thanks for sticking around till the end and hope you've been enjoying. Again, sorry about, like, the technical difficulties. It's affected a few of the Animal Crossing VODs, but they should be back up shortly. At least hopefully by the time this goes out. In the meantime, if you want to support the channel, the easiest way to do so is just click buttons like the like button. It helps out a lot, so appreciate those that do do that. Uh, but yeah, we'll do more of this soon. Alright, take care.